Hey guys, so I'm just making a super short um, run cycle tutorial in Maya. Um, so uh, this is using the Unreal Engine 4 rig um, that I've downloaded from the UE4 Community Hub. Uh, you can go and download it one yourself and, and play around with it. It's a reasonably nice rig. Um, but what I like to do before I start animating anything is I like to go online and get some reference. So it can be video reference, it can be images. Um, in this case, I've decided to choose this particular um, image because it's like a nice, um, you know, 2D drawing has some really nice poses and some really nice um, strong silhouettes. So this is what I'm going to be using. This one I'm going to be following along with, and you can grab this one and, and do the same. So I'm just going to create a new file here. And the very important thing you want to do with um, when doing uh, run cycles, or any cycles for that matter, is you want to make sure you have very, very strong poses. And to do that, um, you want to like you know make sure you're following along with these guys. So make sure you're hitting these each of these poses. I'm going to be using number six, so the the up pose, as um, as my as as the the start and end of the loop. Um, and for mine. So before I get started, I just have to change the arms to use uh, FK mode because in IK they move with the cog and I don't want that. So I'm just going to go to the left side because it also, mir uh, also mirrors my reference. And I'm going to drop this down to 20 frames because it's the 20 frame animation here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is move the character up. So I'm going to set a keyframe. Move him up and press S again to set that keyframe. Then I'm going to just position the legs. So nice, nice and exaggerated um, in the legs here. Cool. So, and I might angle the torso forward a bit. Cool. So we've got a keyframe set on these guys. So that's our first pose there. So the next pose we want to do, uh, probably about five frames, will be the passing pose. So it'll be the one where the legs on the ground and the uh, left leg is coming past to, um, you know, start to you know move forward and, and then take the lead. So I'm just going to set these guys down to zero, and you can see here that like I you know that's it's separated from the controls. That's because I need to bring the um, cog down. So I'll bring that down to about there. And because I've got auto key on, which is this guy here, um, it's automatically at setting these, um, creating these keyframes for me. So then I'll need to adjust this guy here. We can go about there, I think. And I'll just make the torso less um, angled because he's come down and it should be a bit straighter at that point. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on. Um, motion trails for the feet, because it'll allow me to very quickly and easily um, update my animations. And, uh, you know, it, it, it just makes things really easy to see, so you have some really nice arcs going very easily. So I'm going to skip ahead to frame 10. So what I'm going to do is, on the cog, I'm just going to um, go back to the first frame, because at frame 10 it needs to be up in the air again. So I'm going to middle mouse down on frame 10, and then press S. And S will set, like duplicate the uh, the frame you had selected previously. So if we go to frame 10 again, go to press middle mouse on frame 20 and press S, um, it will keep the same um, frame. So likewise, we go frame 5, middle mouse on 15, and S again. So I should go down, up, down, up, which is exactly what I want. So at frame 10, uh, this foot here is going to be coming back because it was previously at the front. And you see you've got like a nice sort of curve there. And so I'm just using the position of the other foot to, to help guide it. And same deal with this one over here. So you should go up, down, passing pose, up. And then at frame 15, it's going to be the same deal. So this guy here is going to be coming down to there. So I'll probably just go 0, 0 on that one. And this one here will be here. So I should go up, down, up, down. And then lastly, I need to set the uh, first pose for all these guys onto frame 20. So I'm just going to go here, select the cog, foot, foot, 
and then I go middle mouse and then S. And I should have a nice looping simple run cycle there. Sweet. So I'm just doing the legs for the moment because I don't want to have to worry about um, the arms and the there's like so much more to this. So just I recommend just like focusing on one um, body part at a time, but making sure you have very, very strong poses um, and make sure it's nice and exaggerated. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to shift this other one a bit further forward. Try and make that a bit more. Gets a bit of a nicer arch there. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the contact pose. So in this one here, the contact pose is this one and this one. So it's the first, it's the uh, point where the heel of the foot touches first touches the ground. So I'm going to just push him down further. Actually, I might drop him down to zero and angle the foot up a bit more. Now, it looks like he's quite touching the ground just yet. So I'm going to go to flame five and drop him down a bit further and then check. You can, how much further can you go down? So you can go down a little bit more. So I'll drop him down some more. And check frame three. Three, sorry. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So they just need to go back to frame five, middle click on 15 and update that. So got him. So he'll come down, plant, like he hits the heel on frame three. Then at frame four, that looks a bit wonky. I want the foot to be flat by then. So I'm just gonna zero out the rotation. Um, so it's down at five, which is what I want. Six, six is also looking a bit weird. So I'm gonna zero that out and zero out the translation. Then I'm going to go to frame seven. So frame seven is where I want him like pushing off with his foot. So, um, you know, on the ball of the foot, pushing up off the ground. So I'm going to set that down to zero and zero again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, heel control here to rotate the foot on the ball of the foot because I can do that. So if I set a frame on frame six and on frame seven, um, I'm just going to use rotate and I'm going to rotate the foot until it's about what I want it to be. Then what I'm going to do is actually just go back and select the foot controller again and move him back until I've got a nice straight leg. And it might be moving a little bit far, but you can go through and adjust these guys. So if that one looks like it's too far, you can adjust it back and forward. And you'll have to do the same with the other foot, obviously. So oh, he goes down, heel, plants, comes back on the ball of the foot and then flicks up then it comes forward again. Um, and you can do that again with the uh, the other foot too. So for that one, you'll be doing it on frame 13 instead of frame uh, three. So again, uh, so that'll be adjusting the rotation. And I won't have to worry about that anymore because that should be all sorted. 14, 15's good, 16, and 17. So zero, zero, pushing it back to there, and then grabbing this one, setting it, and rotating. Okay, so I think this one here might be a little bit out. Oh, maybe it might be the other one. Let's see frame three, so I can push that a little bit further forward. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, okay, so I'll move on to the torso and the arms now. So I'm going to go to perspective and just rotate these arms down. So with the arms, you want to make sure that you're rotating the arms. Um, oh, I'm on the wrong uh, keyframe here. Rotate the arms. So like the if the left leg is forward, the right arm will be forward. Uh, so in this case, this one will be forward here. Just using that one. And then this guy will come back. And we'll go back to orthographic left. And then check my reference pictures again to see how the arm's going to look at frame zero. Um, okay, so this one should be nice and back. I'll bend the wrist. Um, I could probably uh, curl the fingers into a ball, but I don't really have the time at the moment, so I won't worry about that. So I'm going to do this. And 
you can select the uh, controls over here on this panel over here to make them a bit easier in the case you can't see them. Like I can't see that other uh, forearm control, so I'm going to do this. So I got one there, and then I'm just going to select all these keyframes here. Middle mouse S, set that keyframe. So I'm going to want to have them up, down, and then at frame 10, I'm going to want to switch them. So I might just turn, no, I won't worry about check directories. So I'm just going to copy the information from the keyframes from, like, say, this, this arm here. Oop, that was the wrong button. So I'm going to copy that one and paste it to the other side at frame 10. I'm going to get this one here. Copy. Paste. And then this one. Copy. Paste. And then the same deal over here. Um, yeah, so I want to copy this frame here. Actually, sorry, it doesn't look like I've pasted that one properly. So I'm going to grab this one here. Copy him to frame 10 for this guy. Yeah, cool, that's what I want. And then blue, copy, paste. Okay, so it's just simple sort of back and forth here. But you notice that it's like doing something a little bit strange here. So when I go into perspective, look, the arms are just behaving really weirdly. Um, and the reason for this doing that is because of a thing called gimbal lock. So gimbal lock is a um, issue to with the rotations and how it's getting them from keyframe to keyframe. Uh, the easiest solution in the, for this particular case is just to change the um, how the rotations are handled. So I'm just going to go to the animation graph editor and I'm going to rotations and I'm just going to change the rotation to uh, to quaternion. So quaternion just calculates it a different way and you don't get that same sort of thing happening. So see the right arm is a lot more um, straight up and down rather than the sort of strange swinging motion of this other one which isn't uh, really desired. So I'm going to go here again and quaternion, and yeah, you can see it kind of snapping there. Okay, so just some last few last minute tweaks um, on our um, front cycle animation here. So just from the front, you can see here with the feet that they are like, so if I play it, it looks a bit weird because these legs are so far apart. Um, so what you want to do is grab these feet here and um, bring them in so it looks like he has a more stable base. Uh, so I go again, select the uh, foot controller, bring it in a bit more, and it should look like he's, you know, got a lot more weight. He feels like he's a lot more balanced, um, like he's not going to fall over. Uh, the other thing is as well is that uh, rotate the foot because when you run, generally you rotate, you run with your feet facing outwards, and uh, pointing the knee as well. So up here, I'm just going to point the knee, say 10 degrees. Yeah, there we go. And then again here, um, I'm going to point the knee over in here, 10 degrees. And of course, don't forget to do it here. So always, you know, if you change anything, double check uh, that things haven't changed. Um, yeah, you make sure that they're both the same and you'll start an ending pose. Otherwise, you can get some weird, like, jumpiness and you don't want that. So again, middle mouse S, jump it back. Okay, that's all good. Um, left. So I'm going to want to tweak the arms a bit more. So say at the passing pose here, um, I'm going to want to kind of tuck the arm up a bit more and uh, rotate it. Uh, as well as, so like when the arm's out the front here, so again, go back to front panel. Uh, the You generally run with your arms out in front of you. You don't kind of run with them to the side. Like it's a little bit like... Um, uh, the guy from Terminator 2 when he's running, and it, it just look, it looks really robotic and um, super realistic. So unless you're animating him, generally you run with your uh, your hands out in front. So they kind of out to the side, they come forward and they swing, and then they go back out. Uh, but you got to make sure that you know you're not clipping through your leg here as well. Um, so 
you know, you may need to adjust these guys here too. So goes back, yep, not clearing the uh, clearing the leg, and 15 here, clearing that as well. So forward, so also there's a bit of bit of weirdness going on here maybe with the wrist, um, but you can go through and, and tweak that. Um, the next thing I'd move, move, move on to would be adjusting the um, the cog here, so you're adjusting it in like all axes here. So you're making sure when he's when his feet is up, you know he's leaning into the into the run, and uh, you know he's leaning into the run on this side, and um, uh, S. yeah, so he's leaning he's leaning into the run. Uh, make sure that you know he's angled back and forth properly. You'll go through and adjust the spine controls here. Um, you'll get the elbows. Um, fix up the elbows and the arms because they're looking very uh, wooden at the moment still so you want to go through and you know have so you got some like you know secondary motion in there so you know as the arm comes back you know it starts pushing forwards a bit of a delay as like the um you know the, the like the you know inertia travels down the arm and like same with the feet and the legs um you know that your you know your foot your foot keeps moving there so it doesn't feel quite so wooden it feels a little bit more fluid and you know how fluid uh, that is depends on your your animation style. So I'm going to leave things here, but this is just like a super super short uh, intro to help you get started and uh, just make a quick simple run cycle. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed.